Hey guys, Miss Steele here. So, gonna do some um, more readings from Where the Sidewalks Ends because it's a big book and it's got all kinds of fun little stories. I've done some others. This is by Shel Silverstein. He has tons of books. He did The Giving Tree, another one of the readings I've done. Um, and I have some more books by him, so we, we will use these because they're fun. So, the first one, Birds for Cell. One sister for cell. One sister for cell. One crying and spying young sister for cell. I'm really not kidding, so who will start the bidding? Do I hear a dollar, a nickel, a penny? Oh, isn't there, isn't there, isn't there any? One kid who will buy this old sister for sale, this crying and spying young sister for sale. You see him trying to sell his sister? You can't really sell your sister. You can't. I'm a sister, and my brother would have sold me if he could, but you can't. You, you're stuck with us. So, there you go. But... He tried. All right, on the next one. Since we have some of us working on jumping rope, I thought this one was perfect. Jumping rope. This started out as a jumping rope. You'll probably think that I'm a dope. But this started out as jumping rope. And now I fear there is no hope. But this started out as jumping rope. You see, I see the picture. She started jumping rope. And now look, it did not end as jumping rope. Uh oh. Okay, this one's a little longer, but it is really funny. So, the crocodile toothache. The crocodile went to the dentist and sat down in the chair. The dentist said, Now tell me, sir, why does it hurt, hurt and where? The crocodile said, I'll tell you the truth. I have a terrible toothache. He opened his jaw so wide, so wide, that the dentist he climbed right inside. And the dentist laughed, oh, isn't this fun? And he pulled the tooth out one by one. And the crocodile cried, you're hurting me, so please put down your pliers and let me go. But the dentist just laughed with a ho, ho, ho. And he said, I still have 12 to go. Oops, that was the wrong one, I confess. But what's one crocodile's tooth, more or less? Then suddenly the jaws went snap. And the dentist was gone right off of the map. And where he went, only one could guess, to north, to south, or east or west. He left no forwarding address. But what's one dentist, more or less? So the dentist is in there just having a grand old time, pulling out the crocodile's teeth. Crocodile doesn't think it's very funny. And the jaws went. And now the dentist is gone. Where you guys think he went? Hmm, not such a good ending for the dentist, but hey, what's one dentist more or less? Right? All right, the warning. Inside everybody's nose, there lives a sharp tooth snail. So if you stick your finger in, he may bite off your nail. Stick it further up inside, and he may bite your ring off. Stick it all the way, and he may bite the whole darn thing off. See the picture? But let's be real, there really is not a sharp tooth snail living in your nose. But you still shouldn't stick your fingers in your nose. Right? Nah. All right, I think I have one more marked. But I had another one marked. Well, I have one more marked, so we'll do that one. All right, love. Ricky was L, but he's home with the flu. Lizzie, our O, had some homework to do. Michelle E, probably got lost on the way. So I am all of love that could make it today. Just the V. The L, the O, and the E couldn't make it. So just the V of love made it today. I thought I had another one picked out, but maybe I don't. I do not see another one marked. All right, looks like that's it, guys. I hope you liked those. Um, I, I hope you, the dentist and the crocodile, kind of funny, selling your sister. You can't. You just can't. Um, and there is not a sharp tooth snail in your nose, but I wouldn't put my fingers up in there. You guys have an awesome day. I hope you like the story.